hello everybody welcome to my channel this is shiva ravindra today i am going to explaining the question number 84 that is how the real time programmers to start a uh, htm specification by using various documents so this will help you uh, who is don't know the process and uh, no who don't who, uh, which programmers don't have a proper knowledge on the SGTM or who are you know uh, fresh to industry so they are you know unable to uh, find out the process so today I am going to explain you how to start and how to write and what are the documents we are referring while writing the SGTM specification file in this video I am going to explain you okay so if you want to you know uh, see remaining 83 previous questions you can click on the joining button below so that you can pay 119 rupees so that you can able to see all previous 83 questions in my youtube channel okay so if you are really interested and really want to know oncology real time projects 45 days session so you can please enroll contact the below number so he will give you the complete details about the course so that you can join and you can start you know uh, learning the things of oncology projects from end to end sgtm madama dlfs etc okay so comes to the topic so whenever you are assigned any domain to work on sgtm so you need to create a specification file what are the variables need to include in the data set what is the derivation of the particular uh, variables and how to derive and what are the you know points to be considered etc so we have to mention in the specification file so if you assign anything just open the sgtm implementation guide so sgtm implementation guide so open and go to the particular dm section so simply you can search on the dm so you are going to work on dm right so click on the dm so there will be hyperlinks demographics right so click on the demographics so that you know complete information related to the demographic data set as per the cd standard they will clearly mention here so these are the variables only included in the main domain main dm domain and this is the variable name and this is the type and control terminology call list which role is playing each and every variable the variable related cd nodes and the core of the variable okay i already explained in a previous video about the core so this is the specification file okay not the implementation guide okay so just copy everything and paste into one excel sheet called specification file okay so dm tab so mention the variable names variable labels and this whether it is a numeric or character control terms required or permissible etc core up to here length you can decide by yourself the maximum we will give character variable up to 200 the numeric variable up to 3 to 8 8 is the maximum okay so here length up to here we can copy from the implementation guide okay so the origin and comments we have to decide so while writing the programming this variable which variable we are mapping which information containing the raw variable mapping to this variable and that variable coming from where either it is a crf or it is a derived it is a assigned etc the origin of the particular variable and how to mapping that variable okay in the programming so this variable containing information how you derive etc information you need to mention in the comment section as derivation method okay so for this we need what are the documents needed to uh needed uh, before starting your process you know so first one is control terminology excel sheet and annotated crf and implementation guide and your specification file these are and if raw data is available data sets also you can refer okay so whenever you copy this one so all the variables labels type etc copy so for example if i want to write a program or if you want to you know assign this program for example this date so birth dtc variable is there as per the cd standard so what you need to check first go and check with your implementation guide so whether you are copied exactly or not so birth dtc is there so the label is date and time even the label should be also case sensitive what exactly label mentioned in the implementation guide the same label you have to give 
in final data set of the particular variable character and iso 8601 what is the iso 8601 control terms are code list so what is you know so whether if they mentioned any control terminology list here so go and check with the control terminology list so what are the control terminology for example um, so for example here you can see sex variable is there so that control terminology mentioned as sex so go to the control terminology and check the sex format so here the sex format so even your raw data containing these values like female or f or capital f or capital female so you have to represent your values f only so if it is a male m so so many companies are they are having the different different uh, standard structures from the raw data set but while creating the sgtm so you have to convert the values to the standard value so that you know all companies they are maintain the same standard like cd standards means every company is maintain the same standard if your raw data having any value but your sgtm demographic data sets sex variable having the values only f and m mind you are undifferentiated only so you can check any data set which is follow the cd standards you can open and check the dm data set sex variable that containing f or m or u are undifferentiated values only only okay so even the raw data containing any value for the sex related variable but you have to convert the values into the clinic uh, control terminology value so if anything mentioned in the control terminology called is sap the format you have to follow the control terminology values only otherwise whenever you are submitting to the validation or whenever you run the pinnacle 21 for validation of this sgtm data set that time it will throw an error like this value were not as per the CD standard so to avoid that one before you need to check whether any control terminology values are placed so you can check that format and you can apply the same format to your actual raw data set value while creating your SGTM DM variables okay and you can see this next for example birth dtc is there so this is the variable so you need to check the dm page demographic annotation page so here the birth related information where is here you can see year of birth year of birth and raw data set variable is yob okay so yob is a raw data set variable name so that variable you can map to your birth dtc standard sgtm dm domain okay in the dm domain the birth dtc so here red color highlighted one this is called sgtm annotation so which place we are which variable you are uh, mapping to our standard variable that variable you can you know uh, mention here birth dtc red color highlight so here you can see that this is some green color one blue color so the blue color demographics okay each and every domain they are giving separate separate colors so it is blue color means this is a blue color it is rp means it is somewhat green color right so that is related to r okay each and every field goes to which domain okay so year of birth dm dot yob means dm is a raw data set name here also the same name sgtm also dm here also they mentioned a dm and yob is the raw data set variable name that is every company has an own standard but brth dtc birth dtc variable is a standard variable so that variable information map to yob so whenever you are running the programming writing the programming brth dtc equal to yob data set from the raw data set so in this way we have to map each and every variable each and every information appropriate information here you can see dm dot age dm dot cx underscore standard so like that you need to write your specification file which variable from the raw data set is suitable to map the word standard variable in that way you have to write the comment section or derivation section even the specification file also you yeah, the origin comments or derivation it's your own but these fields you should be mandatory you have to mention in the specification file like that every domain every domain every CRF page so every field map to one of the SGTM domain if any field is extra so you can send it to uh, you can ask your client for you know clarification otherwise you can send it to the supplementary domains if the extra information is available so these fields only required in the DM domain any extra DM information is available that was not fitted to any of this variable so you can create the supplementary domain and send all that information to the supplementary data sets okay so in this way 
you need to have so many domains which are dom what are the domains are required you can different different tabs that you know uh, even five programmers are allotted to one project means they you know principal programmer share each and every person has some domains and the person will write the specification file otherwise lead programmer only write all the specification file and annotate and give to the programmer as per the specification file the programmer has to be write the programming so this is the specification part so important thing is control terminology so if it is having any control terminology just go and check with the control terminology excel sheet and you know uh, here someone mentioned the number so don't confuse with the number number nothing but this number this number only i copied so in the implementation get they mentioned the uh, here the format name okay either you can give the format name either you can give the number also no issues okay so in this way each and every study sgtm domains has specification file sgtm program based upon the specification file you have to write the programming and finish that domain okay so if you really interested so please join my youtube channel for more questions so if you want really learn the oncology projects sgtm adam and tlf so you can join my real-time projects okay thank you everybody